Hey, what's up partners? Welcome again to the another educational video dito sa ACCQ Continuing Professional Education. Now, I just want to to bring another topic which is about taxation. No, alam ko maraming nag uh, nagtatanong and yung mga nakikita ko dun sa comment section no, about yung sa taxation, no? Especially nung yung past month, yung June, no? And uh, natutuwa naman ako because I'm uh, I I'm able to address yung mga inquiries, no? That's why I'm bringing uh, taxation again dito sa ating uh, videos, no? So pag-uusapan natin yung domestic corporation. Now, ano ba itong domestic corporation dito sa taxation on domestic corporation? Pag sinabi lang na domestic corporation, no, simple lang yan, no? Kumbaga, these are these are uh, organizations, no? That is uh, uh, organized and constituted under the Corporation Code of the Philippines. Examples of uh, domestic corporations are Jollibee, SM, no? Um, even ABS-CBN, uh, GMA, uh, those th those are domestic corporations, and you can name as much as domestic corporations there is. No, the MCI, no, so those are domestic corporations, no. So, ano naman yung ano nila? Uh, ano naman yung ano naman yung kasama pa dun sa corporation bukod sa mga nasabi, no? So it also includes partnerships, no matter how created or organized, joint stock companies, joint accounts. And insurance companies, no? so kasama yun dun sa scope ng corporation. And but it, the, the term corporation does not include yung general professional partnership. So ano ba itong general professional partnership? Ito yung the practice of profession. For example, mga CPAs or lawyers or architects, no? So hindi ito kasama dun sa no sa sa partnership na tinukoy natin yung taxable partnership yung mga ano, mga doktor, yung mga ganun, mga dentista. So those are they are practicing their profession. And uh, the next one is joint venture or consortium for for the purpose of undertaking construction projects. So this does not include in sa term na corporation. No? And the joint venture or consortium for uh, engaging in petroleum, coal, geothermal, no ito yung mga energy, no, corporate companies no so ito hindi rin kasama doon sa corporation so domestic corporation saan sila subject na tax itong domestic corporation no, so number one is the sa capital gains tax so nagbabayad sila ng capital gains tax so pag-uusapan natin yun in a little while no and yung uh, yung next is yung uh, final tax on passive income so uh, kas ano rin sila doon tinatax rin sila doon so ito yung mga ano yung mga deposit sa banko. Ano pa? Yung normal tax or IC, RCIT which means regular corporate income tax. So ito gagawin natin mamaya. And the fourth one is MCIT or minimum corporate income tax. No, so pag-uusapan natin yan in later videos. And the last one ito yung tinatawag na IAET which is in, which is uh, improperly accumulated income tax. So these are just some of the taxes that a corporation, a domestic corporation, is subject to. No, so, ano naman yung mga, ano, yung mga, yung mga other, yung like yung mga iba pang, ano, kasama dun sa, sa domestic corporation, like yung passive income tax or final tax, like letter A, yung on sale of shares of stock, yan, of a domestic corporation not listed in or traded through a local stock exchange. So, meron silang, ano, kumbaga, 15% final tax. So, hindi na nila kinukumpit yun. Kumbaga, final tax na yun. Doon na mismo pagka, pagka may bentahan na doon, no, sa labas ng, uh, local stock, ng local stock exchange. No? On sale of land and or, and or building held as capital assets. No, ito yung uh, nag, nag, nagbenta, halimbawa, ng property. No? Real property. So, the 6% of the fair market value or the gross selling price whichever is higher no? <laughs> and yung uh, letter C kasi iba hindi naman ano, no? uh, there are may ibang values yan, no? but let's not talk about that <laughs> okay so letter C is yung, ano, yung from sources within the Philippines 
no, on passive income such as interest under the expanded foreign currency deposit system that's seven and a half percent that's file tax no? what else uh, the um, uh, from sources within the Philippines on passive income interest on any currency bank deposit yield or other monetary benefit from deposit substitute so ito yung 20% ito yung sa banko no? so nakikita natin no, merong ano yung dun sa passbook natin makikita natin na dinidebit no, 20% of the interest yung kinita natin dun so yan and yung, ano, yung dividend from domestic corporation, yung intercompany dividend, let's say for example, si Jollibee nakatanggap ng dividend kay SM. No? So those are exempt sa taxation. No? And na, the lastly, yung taxable income net from all sources within the Philippines, ito yung tinatawag na, no? ito yung uh, normal tax of 30% no? uh, or RCIT. That's regular corporate income tax. Tapos yung tinatawag nila, Na, ano, na minimum corporate income tax which is 2% of the gross income. So magkaiba yung taxable income and yung uh, yung yung gross income kasi yung taxable income bawas na dito yung mga cost and expenses. So parang net income na to. While yung sa ano, yung sa, sa minimum corporate uh, tax dun sa gross income which is 2% of the gross income. Now, to further illustrate yung ano yung uh, yung theories dito sa taxation, no? So we'll take up this uh, this one, uh, this example. No? So, ABC Company, a domestic corporation, in its second year of operations, had the following data for the year. So, gross income from business that's two million, uh, business expenses and losses, no, that's one million, capital gain on sale of land for five million, so the nine hundred million, nine hundred thousand raw yung kinita nila don. Interest on Philippine currency bank deposit twenty thousand. Required is compute for the normal income tax. So, ganito lang po kasimple yan. No? Okay, so, assuming dito sa example number one, ang ginamit niya is yung itemized deduction. So, itemized deduction, no? parang ano rin to, yung kagaya dun sa, sa mixed income earner no? na taxation. If you, if you want to check that video, I've uh, I provided a, uh, a link here dito sa video na to. No? So, we will first... Um, Dito tayo, no? so gross, umpisa natin sa gross income, yan, from business, no? which is 2 million. There. And then, ililist natin yung business expenses. So, expenses and losses. So, ito yung tinatawag na itemized deduction. Okay, so this is 1 million pesos. There. Okay, so get the difference. This would be 1 million. And okay, so this is the taxable income. Now, you will notice, hindi natin sinama itong dalawa. Itong capital gains on sale of land and yung interest on Philippine uh, currency bank. Kasi ito yung ano, na final tax na sila. So, banko na yung nagtatax dito. So, ito naman yung capital gains sa iba na yun. So, hindi natin isasama yun. So, ito na. So, Kunin natin ngayon, so that's uh, taxable income, so times 30%. So, how much is the tax? So, this is the tax rate, corporate tax rate, no? And under training law, no? So, that would be tax payable would be um, 300,000. That's your tax payable. Okay, so now, what if, for example, ang ginamit nila is yung ano, yung yung uh, tinatawag na so example this is example number one example number two so if the company uses let's say yung ano yung optional standard deduction so ganun pa rin so we will go the, here no? so gross income so this would be two million tapos times OSD or optional standard deduction like I said uh, pareho lang ito nung ano yung computation if the corporation opted for the optional standard deduction meaning 40% of the gross income no so yun yung ba, yun, yun yung ibabawas nila na expenses from dun sa ano nila sa gross income nila 40% of that katulad rin nung sa ano sa sa mixed income earner no so pag binawas ito no instead of uh, yung sa itemized deduction then yun na yung pinaka no yung difference nung ano nung gross income and yung OSD 
would uh, be your taxable income. So, that's times 30%. No? So, magkano po yun? Okay, mag-compute tayo. So, this would be... Okay. So, 40% nitong ano, 40% nito, uh, ng 2 million. So, okay, so 2 million times 0.4 would give you 800,000. So, 800,000, okay, less yung ano, from here, no, you would get uh, 1 million, 200,000. So, 1, 1, 1 million, that's 1 million, 200,000 times 0.3 would give you 300 or 30 percent would give you 360,000 pesos so this is the tax rate no? this is the tax rate and this is the taxable income for the uh, corporation and this is the tax payable of uh, from the yeah, so 260,000 so kung titignan natin mas malaki yung yung ano yung uh, so optional standard deduction in which case na no, mas uh, maganda kung uh, yun na lang yung itemized deduction because mas makakabawa siya so only 300,000 so if you have any questions you can uh, give your comments below and we're going to take up yung ano yung uh, uh, minimum corporate income tax in later discussions so for now uh, stay safe god bless and keep your hands clean